folks have been competitive from day one. <laughs> the first days you got to campus, you were uh, uh, competitive. This is a team that, that the state is, is very, very proud of. Um, but like I say, I mean, there will be teams come and go that win games. You all won a lot, and you competed at the highest level. Um, but like I'm only governor for a while, you're only the Zuko Bowl player for a while. It all kind of comes to an end, and not so many weeks or years from now, You'll be outside these rooms where groups of school kids, maybe led by you and others, are coming through here to see me, or you'll be at a Mizzou game or an NFL game watching other people play. Um, so the, the, the point I make there is that, that I hope that you enjoy and take from the experiences that you have earned as members of a top flight team and take those with you through your entire life. Because I know, you get these speeches, I mean, Coach, give your speeches, I'm not the only politician giving your speeches about Anything. Um, although I would know if the same surgeon operated on my knees, operate on yours. You go in from 4'4 four, four to 4'3. Four, I went from a 5'2 to about a 5'5. Five, five. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Smith did not give me the same. <laughs> any more that you got. I've had, had no end of trouble with them on that regard. I, said, I, had, uh, I had to have some fluid taken off of recently, and, and uh, I said, just give me one of those Macklin things where I, just, I get faster. And he said uh, uh, that he would certainly be willing to do that, but I also had to do this thing called rehab. As most of you know, I was uh, a graduate of the University of Missouri. My mother and father were my wife. The one part is, is the beginning of the number. I, and I hope that, that you all continue to feel the connection to our state. Uh, I hope that you all take that electric feeling of excellence and carry it not only in the games that you play, but in the life you lead. Uh, because the, the commitment that's necessary to achieve the goals that you have achieved is stunning. Okay? It's, it's stunning. You got up every morning before 99% of the students at the University of Missouri. You got yelled at way more than anybody in the political science or the accounting or, or, or the band or anything else. And you were expected to, in public, compete with 60 or 80,000 people in the stands for any mistake you made, as if they could do what you do, criticizing it. Okay. From that, it has made you stronger and bigger. It's, made, it's given you an opportunity to speak from a higher position than you would have if you just lumbered through and came in third and Emerald touch co-ed flag football or something. That level of competition, if you maintain that level of competition in the rest of your life, um, you, you will succeed in ways that so while this part of your life is going to end relatively soon, the important, fun, and interesting part of your life begins with the completion of your work at, at our university. Now, the last part is, I, 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 as governor, you've got to kind of bat these other governors about games. So I'm going to be calling Coach Pinkle to make sure i got the correct line, which games to bet on, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, there's just ceremonial bets, although I got in a little bit of trouble recently. We were the governor of Kansas, who now finally got appointed to Governor, the president's cabinet, so I don't have to bet with her anymore. She wouldn't, when, when the basketball team came to Missoula Arena, she wouldn't make the ceremony to bet. But when we were going to Lawrence, she wanted to, <laughs> to bet. Um, so I said, well, I gotta, I gotta get this worked out. I, I always, I, I gotta get these ceremonial bets worked out. But I'm counting on you all, making sure that over my four years as governor, that I have a net addition of calories to my staff, rather than us continuing to, to have to, the way we did Sunday, Gates barbecue to the staff of the Kansas governor for the basketball team, uh, only playing one half.